In this video we will learn about the temperature check system in the UHT Space Saver. Start by turning the machine on. On a cold start, the dishwasher goes through the wash cycle. While washing, the pan and booster heater elements are heating the wash and rinse water. Once the temperature microswitch falls into the valley of the cam, the timer motor requires two circuits to be satisfied before it can move beyond the valley. Both circuits go through the H2 interlocking relay. On the coil side of the H2 interlocking relay is the wash pan heater circuit. This circuit is completed when the coil is not energized. To de-energize the coil, the wash pan thermostat must be satisfied. To satisfy the thermostat, the pan temperature must be at or above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a time delay relay that keeps the H2 relay closed for 5 seconds after the thermostat is satisfied. This is to eliminate any chatter on the relay. Once the H2 coil is de-energized, the H1R3 heater is allowed to assist the H1R1 heater in heating up the booster heater. On the load side of the H2 interlocking relay is the booster heater circuit. This circuit is completed when the normally closed H1 auxiliary relay coil is not energized. To de-energize the relay coil, the booster heater thermostat must be satisfied. To satisfy the thermostat, the booster heater temperature must be at or above 180 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a time delay relay that keeps the H1 relay closed for 5 seconds after the thermostat is satisfied. This is to eliminate any chatter on the relay. Since the H1 and H2 normally closed interlocking relays coils are de-energized, the yellow wire attached to the H1 relay will now send current to the yellow with a blue stripe wire. This allows the timer motor to now continue. 